All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit different video than I usually do. And it's gonna be on the topic of LinkedIn. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use LinkedIn, how to build up a profile and make your profile actually look good and pop. But before we get started, I wanna talk about why I think that LinkedIn is really a good place for nurses, but especially nursing students. And the reason that I think that nursing students can really benefit from LinkedIn is for instance, you wanna be an ER nurse, right? There's so many professionals on there that are ER nurses. You can meet nurse managers, you can meet uh, um, people in ICU, you can meet all these nurses that are on LinkedIn in their professional profiles and you can go ahead and start connecting. You can go ahead and start connecting and making those connections and make it where you, know, you can start building up that rapport before you ever get out of nursing school. Now, I wanna say something about LinkedIn versus Instagram versus YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook. It's a completely different medium. It is social media. However, you need to think of it more of a professional aspect. And what I mean by that is when you go in, and when I, when I show you in here how to connect with people and how to make these connections, that professional communication is really gonna help you guys uh, start building those connections. So don't think of it where you have to just spam uh, people and message people. Like people, you know, email me all the, or not email me, but direct message me all the time on Instagram and just ask crazy questions. And I'm like, look, I'm busy, you know, uh, I don't mind it. Me personally, I don't mind it. But however, you know, there are people, especially on LinkedIn that are super busy. They're working in the ER. They don't have time to ask just stupid questions or answer stupid questions. So I want you to kind of keep that in mind as you're starting to kind of build your network out, your professional network. And so you guys will understand why it's so important to, uh, to have that communication and build that communication out. And I, I really think that, you know, if you're going to be using LinkedIn, Say you're a nursing student with a year left of nursing school. This is, matter of fact, a perfect opportunity for you guys right now to go ahead and start making your connections. There are a lot of people on on, uh, on LinkedIn that have, have these connections. There are nurse managers out there. There are uh, nurse practitioners. There are people that are out there, but you just have to move a little bit more subtly than Instagram or, or YouTube or Facebook or something like that. So keep that in mind. And we're gonna delve into this right now. I'm gonna do a screen record here and we'll jump into uh, into how I build up my build out my profile, and then uh, you guys can kind of look at that, see how I do the profile, and uh, we'll talk about that. So let's get started on that. You can see I have Crosby Steen MSN RN right now. Keep in mind, I do my my Nomad Nurse business, which Nomad Nurse Health Education and Consulting. I don't need to market my CPR business to the professionals on LinkedIn right? So that's why I specifically market myself to the professionals such as lawyers, med malpractice lawyers, and let them know immediately, immediately when they come to my profile, they can immediately see med malpractice, legal nurse consultant, expert witness, right? Even though I do do the CPR business, I do do the uh, ACLS stuff, and I do do that aspect of it, I'm not marketing towards that here on LinkedIn, right? So as you can see, I have this specifically laid out, uh, my LinkedIn profile laid out like this. Now, let's talk about a couple of things uh, as far as the visual aspect and the marketing. You know, what, what do you want people to see immediately when they, uh, when they come to your page? So I got a good picture here. You know, it's got my face, uh, somewhat professional. <laughs> and I want people to see, see me. You know, faces do really, really well. You want people to see you really well in a professional type of uh, a type of background. You know, you can use your, you can even use a suit. You can use whatever you want to use, but make sure it looks professional and looks really uh, classy. Now, you can go on here onto your onto your profile. You can change it through here. You can do this. You can change it all up. You can uh, drag and position, however, because you can see out here. All of this stuff is uh, is what I wanted to focus on. And you wanna make sure it's centered here. Use the rule of thirds. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle, but either use the, the, the rule of thirds as a uh, rule in photography. You wanna make sure that you're utilizing that with, uh, with your LinkedIn profile because it just looks professional. So we will uh, close that out now. So you can change that. Now your background picture up here, this is important. I would, you know, if I was a nurse, uh, you know, I'm, I'm marketing towards a specific niche here with med malpractice lawyers. So I got this picture here, downloaded it and put it on my background. So now when you come to my page here, these are the first two things that you're going to see. You see Crosby Steen, MSN, RN, med malpractice, legal nurse cons consultant with this in the background. 
It looks clean, it looks classy, and it says a lot immediately. You don't want people thinking a lot when they see your profile. All right, so now, the main thing I want you guys to also remember is down here, in this aspect, you can click on this. You want this to your headline. I would not put much more than what I have on here. Med malpractice, legal nurse consultant, expert witness. If I was a nurse, I, uh, you know, actually looking for an ER job or something like that, I'd be a registered nurse, um, ER nursing, uh, and then I'd probably leave it at that. If I was a student nurse, I would put student nurse, uh, future ER nurse, or um, aspiring ER nurse or something like that. Then you could put your uh, current position in here. You can put your, uh, your, your country, your state, your, all of that good stuff, all right? So those are the main two aspects that I want you to kind of remember here. Now, we're going to delve a little bit deeper into this. I want to show you what you can do, uh, which, which is actually wonderful here with, with LinkedIn. So I'm going to type in metal, medical malpractice, right? Now, as I go and click on here, I want you to take a look specifically. You can do jobs, you can look people, or you can look groups. So I want to look for people, right? Now we're getting into the marketing aspect of all of this, okay? So like this lady right here, she's connected with me now. I sent her a nice little message. Basically that message was short and sweet. And this is probably the key. This is probably the key to making sure that you don't spam people in LinkedIn because you're trying to be professional here, right? Send a little a two or three sentence message, message to them that you wanna connect. You can hit connect right here. Let them know, hey, I'm student nurse such and such. I'm really interested in ER. Would you mind connecting with me? Connect with them and leave it at that. Then you can follow them and follow these people, and uh, you can see what they, you know, what they're interested in. Let's let's try to type in uh, ER. Let's get out of here and try something else. ER nurse people, right? So look at all these people immediately that pop pop up of ER nurses, right? You can, you can look at their, their credentials. You can see uh, who is this, current re registered nurse, emergency department, um, ER, RN, travel nurse. You know, you can look up all of this stuff into people. Now, even better is if you wanna look for jobs. Let's look at jobs. So boom, right here. You have all of this stuff set up specifically for jobs. Um, so anyways, guys, you know, what, what I want to get out of this was just to do a brief overview and talk to you about the importance of, of LinkedIn and how you need to really utilize LinkedIn in your professional uh, uh, space. I think that nursing students are really can position themselves for a great job. If you're a nursing student, you can go ahead and start positioning yourself for that great job that you want to have in the, uh, in say the ER or ICU, because you can go ahead and start making those contacts now. You can go ahead and start building those, those connections, network a little bit, don't spam, actually contribute to the community, the LinkedIn community, and actually do, you know, communicate, put good posts out there, you know, don't, don't do anything crazy. Don't, don't you, don't take how I run my Instagram and put that on to, uh, onto, onto uh, LinkedIn. Um, but anyways, all right, guys, that's it for the video today. I hope that helped you guys out. I really think that if you're using LinkedIn properly and you're starting to build that thing out, it, it's, it's, it's just a better medium for you guys that are wanting to, uh, to put yourself out there and you don't, and, it, and it's not all the noise that is in Instagram and Facebook and all that other stuff. So anyways, hope this video helped guys. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit me up with any questions down below. I'd be glad to help out. All right. Peace out.